Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Smasher Pass with yours truly, the Muffin King himself. It has been a while since we've done a Smasher Pass video, so I'm a little rusty, but this should be fun because today we are going to be exploring the Boruto universe. That's right, well, kinda the Boruto universe. There are some characters from Shippuden that I'm gonna add in here because I didn't get to add them the last time I did the Naruto uh, Smasher Pass, but I digress. This won't be a very long video because, um, you know, there's not too many chicks in Boruto that I'm a fan of. Currently, you know, as I watch the series, but there are some that I like, and, uh, yeah, we'll go through them very briefly. You know, this won't be a very long video, so just brace yourself for that. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Let's go through some of the end of Chipunins just to get them out the way, characters that I like. Maybe I should do a Naruto movie, uh, Smasher Pass, because there are some chicks in the movies that I like. Like this character that I'm going to be introducing you to. This is Fuka, um, who I really, really like and I think is really underrated because she is kinky as hell. Though, don't kiss her. She's kind of like I, uh, Poison Ivy from the Marvel universe or dc universe not marvel universe from the dc universe and uh yeah I, <laughs> my favorite scene is her trying to make out with naruto just trying to get in Nar trying to get them lips and naruto was just reminiscing about oh i kissed the uh, i had a kiss before and then goes flashback to sasuke it's like they're really pushing that whole sasuke x, x naruto stuff and that kind of reinforced it but like i said fuka is just mm. Mm, she looks so so good and uh, so sexy. Uh, too bad she's old, but uh, but yeah, I, I I'd smash this version of her. Yeah, I, I kind of like like Granny Tsunade. I, I'd smash this version of her. So yeah, she's a smash. All right, moving on. Um, we also from Shibuden, kind of like the end of it is Sakura. This version of her in the rock and the bikini, and I'm liking it. Uh, yeah, I would smash this version of Sakura. So we're gonna move on from that. Now let's get into some Shippuden characters, um, let's start with Granny Tsunade. Mm. Honestly, her looks doesn't really change that much from Shippuden with her Boruto counterpart, so, uh, she's still very, very smashable. Oh, she looks good! I'm tapping it! I'm sorry, Lady Tsunade is one of the hottest chicks in Naruto, and, uh, this, uh, kind of shows it. Even going into Shippuden, she is still very, very smashable. Smash on Tsunade. Moving on, we're going into Hinata. Mm, older Hinata looking like a whole snack. She was a whole snack in Shibuden, and now she's even... Mm, she's stacked a little bit more, and I'm liking it. So, uh, yeah. Smash on Hinata. Next up, we got Shizune. Again, not that much difference from her Shibuden counterpart. And she's still looking like a whole snack. I liked her in Shibuden, and I like her in Boruto. So, yes, that's a smash. Smash on that ass <laughs> with class anyway next up we have boruto sakura you know you know what's funny i actually like uh sakura and boruto she's not as annoying as she once was in shippuden probably because there's not too much emphasis on her but yeah i kind of like the short hairstyle that she's going forward here too you know looking a little bit more thicker you know so uh, yeah mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take that sakura yeah let's, let's go with that let's go with sakura Smash. Smash on this version of Sakura. Next up, we have Delta. Oh, I gotta say Delta's one of my favorite female Boruto characters. When, when they just introduced her, I just liked her style, her attitude, and she is just, mm, just hot as, hot as fudge. Just, yes, yes, I, wa I want Delta. Definitely. Delta is smashable. She's smashable in every way, shape, or form. I'm smashing on Delta. And if you don't like it, you can go to Hella. Get it? Delta L. You get it. Anyway, smash. Next up, we got Ida. Um, I... <laughs> very, uh, interesting character in the comics or manga, to say. And, uh, yeah, she is, uh, smashable. I'm smashing. I like her look. I like, you know, I like the look, and she is smashable. So, smash it on her. Last but not least, we have Eno. Eno, uh, yeah, you know, is very smashable in Boruto. I mean, she was smashable in Shippuden too, but she's just looking extra hot, in my opinion, in Boruto. I don't know why, but just something about her that just, I don't know, something about her just, just gets to me, and I, I think, uh, her style is just 
better in Boruto. Her, her look is just better. So I'm smashing Ito. And uh, I got no complaints about that. So pretty much every chick in this list I'd smash. Don't know about you guys, but let me know on who you smash and who you passed on in this video in the comic section down below. Well, that's it for this version of Smash or Pass. If you think I should continue this and do some more, give me some suggestions on what universe I should explore down the road. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. All right, guys, that being said, I will bid you adieu. Until next time, guys, bye-bye.